exploding in the brand new 911 GT3 RS. That's a long name. Hello, buddy. Gamer Jeff Arrive here, and today we're back with another episode of Forza Horizon 3. So, we just won this sweet Dodge Viper, or I did, offline. Uh, I the Forza Thon. They are loving the Outback site. It's fantastic. So, that's just, just sick. If they could have a little more shade, please. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. You're in the Outback. What are you going to do about it? I mean, shade doesn't really help. It's 50 degrees Celsius in the shade, anyways. Anyway. <laughs> So we actually already own an Evo and an STI. We don't own the Impreza. Hmm. No, we don't own an Impreza yet. But I mean... The 2011 Subaru looks sick. So let's go with that. We can now see the difference between the 2015 and 2011 WRX STI. So obviously we're gonna get the nice super blue. And now this thing, I there's actually a really cool thing I wanted to do. So it looks like uh, on my 2015 Subaru WRX, I did not get the full off-roading kit. I took out a few key elements. So I'm gonna try and add them to this thing as so long as I can keep the upgrade good. It's the full rallying kit that's necessary there are some other parts but the full necessary i get to have a good rally is obviously oh it's only 20 grand i mean let's go with it now obviously the first key air element is all wheel drive uh we can go with the central food no let's go with the just police i think that that's what that said i don't know so this thing is part of the kit. I mean, I don't know that this is definitely part of the kit. The mud flaps are part of the kit. These lights are part of the kit. Yeah. And then this front bumper is part of the kit. May not be the best with stats, but it's part of the kit. Technically speaking, I could go ahead and put the kit on for this, but. I don't want to go into S1 class with this beast. It'll actually bring the class down by one. What about this one? Brings the class up. So, and platform and handling, I can go brakes. Because I'm going to be off-roading. Let's go with the rally suspension. And I believe that's every necessary thing besides transmission. I don't usually add that on. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Technically, wouldn't that be considered? I, I don't know. I don't know if that's just the drag tires. It might be drag tires, but it might also be rally at the same time. I'm not sure. So let's go to the top of the A class. So just get whatever upgrades necessary. Right. So we're at the top of the A class, A800. Let's save that. <coughs> and then we'll get on the road with this beautiful monster. Uh, so today... We're going to be working toward our next festival expansion. I don't really have a plan for this episode. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try my best to stay in the Outback. Only because I just unlocked a buttload of new races. And because I just purchased this beautiful uh, machine machinery. <coughs> I could clear my throat, then we could get started. <laughs> so... Let's stiffen the springs up a little bit because this thing isn't necessarily that insane. Uh, uh, come on, throw, come on, throw. Stop it. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> so, let's get some balance with the view. I don't want to be uh, spinning out anytime soon. Waking pressure, we're going to be off loading, so let's set it to 150% just to ensure no under braking. Let's put this 75%. And let's put this acceleration in 75%. That way it's even throughout the car. Alright. Let's, let's apply the setup. And then let's exit. And let's see what we can accomplish. Plenty more episode. stunts and races around here. If you're interested. I'm interested. 
So let's do this one, seeing as it's right in front of our faces. And just listen to this thing. Listen. Turn left. Sick. So You've arrived at your destination. It's just it's crazy. It's crazy how good it sounds. But let's hop in the burn. I I now have three rally cars, modern rally cars, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't even have one like hypercar yet that I've actually used. I don't have one hypercar that I used yet, I don't believe. But I have three modern supercars that I've uh modern rally cars. If you already used two of them. It's insane. So this is called the Redstone Redstone Strip Pass Trail. That sounds intriguing. Let's see what it is. The Pure Jazz Speeder, my dude, my son is making me it's my son. Making me some money. That's what I like to see. Nice, we got the bonus, ten thousand credits. Let's go behind just to get any that I may have missed. There you go, I got the 2015 and the 2011, I believe those are. I might be wrong, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I probably am wrong, because I read that wrong. <laughs> Anyways, we're still in the starting position of 8th place. If we could pop up to the 6th, that'd be incredible. Here we go, 5th, 4th, this thing is insane. 4th place, 7% through. 3rd place, now I'm in the top 3. That fast. Now I know what you're saying, you should raise the difficulty, no. Cause one out of, one every 10 car, cars will dominate, the other ones will be just be normal, car, normal cars, you know. Um, so I can't take that risk, even though it's one out of 10, still. And the off-road cars tend to do better for some reason, uh, as far as when you're racing. The upgrades tend to work extra, extra good or something. <laughs> they like better. You know, the upgrades in these are better because they're meant for avoiding. So they're meant to withstand this stuff. And so they can actually push further compared to the competition. The competition usually drives something close to stock. Or just, they don't focus on the stats, they just focus on the class. So they could get, so they just get rims and stuff like that. Just to make it better. Well, you're up here in a completely upgrade car. Here we go. In first place. Just like that, I am indeed hungry. I'm gonna eat while playing, watch. Come on, connection, don't get weak. <clears throat> don't get weak on me. It's getting weaker. But the drift, the, the, the eating, the eating drift. Guys, hashtag eating drift. Then actually hashtag that, nothing will pop up. <laughs> there was a the checkpoint. <coughs> Gosh. There was a the checkpoint right out there. That is, uh, ow. That hurt. Hold on. Okay, that's better. It's much better. <laughs> so. Finish line. Slide on my butt and I took first just like that. That was a close race. I'll say that. Alright. Coming in for the rewards. 13 grand. 10 grand. 2.98 million on the dot. Besides from the hundreds. Uh, so we. Oh, I had the best idea ever. Safe to do so. Alright. So I know. Recalculating. We're in the outback. 
400 yards. But I believe the cover cost of Force Motorsport 7 is the Porsche, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. So you know what would go perfect for October 3rd? Well, I do. So if we go to value, go to my free cars, I have a lot. There it is. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. I could get it in purple. That's one of the stock colors. I mean, I don't really know. I don't 100% really know what the color for the car is for Forza Motorsport 7 cover. So, that could be a problem. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Look at it. It's so cool. So let's go to the garage. Let's upgrade the 911 GT3 RS. We can't get all the drive. I mean, we're in the outback, but it's a sick car. I don't really want to take away from that effect. So, we can't even touch the wing. That's how insane that wing is on this thing. It won't even let us touch it. We could go with the Forza Horizon tires. Nah. Right, let's make these tires wide. I understand it's a 911, but we need something. I mean, we are going off road. The only like, one thing, because it's not always going to be off road. But. Look at it. Look at this thing. It's gonna be awesome. It really is. So, um, the first thing that we could do to this thing. First thing, what? Ooh, we can get the race twin turbos. Yes, please. The flywheel. Alright. It looks pretty good. I will say that. This is the 2000, what is it, 2018, what does that say up there? Yeah, I think that says either 16 or 18. 2018, Porsche 911 GT3 LS. Another new Porsche is a 2018 Porsche Panorama, which I, you know, the only, it's just basically a four, four door coupe sedan but the best part about it the wing I mean have you seen the wing on the panorama it's just unbelievable but I mean I really have no other words on the panorama besides the wing is unbelievable I mean it's just it's like majestic but anyways Let's see how this thing handles in the outback. Um, let's <clears throat> let's head to the barn barn. In four hundred yards. Listen to this thing. Right. Listen. Turn right. In two hundred yards, keep left. Do you hear that? That is left. insane. Uh, drifting, drifting in the 911 GT3 RS. All right, on the highway we go. There's a destination. I want to go find a barn. A with you guys. I don't believe I did yet. And B in the beautiful 911 GT3 RS. I mean, just listen to that. Look at the wing. The Porsche. Porsches have a way with their wings. I've noticed that. They really do have a way with their wings. But let's go into drone mode. Let's search for the barn. And yeah. So, if we go to the top of the mountain, we should get a pretty good bird's eye view. Uh, something close to the bird's eye view. Oh, this is where the danger sign was. If you remember the bucket list I did not too long ago. Oh, I see. At least I think I've already done it with you guys. 
I'm not sure. I definitely recorded it already, though. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, how hard can it? It shouldn't be too hard. Sure, there's a lot of trees, but one way or another. And now back to now back. Oh my god, look at the way the clouds just rolled in over this sand dune. I had never seen that before in a video game. That's cool. Um, so, technically speaking... Hmm. I always try to go to the edges first. Edges of the bun bun. Obviously, it shouldn't be that boat. But... Yep. I have five more minutes to record this uh, bonfire finding. Just because the length of my videos. Is that a bun out there? No. E even if it is, it's out of my range, so I don't really care. <laughs> it's not this bone. Right, let's go more toward the middle. Uh, it's gotta be somewhere. Hmm. It might be by the airport, like in that general direction. Uh. Do you reckon it's in this bunch of trees right here? Let's look. <laughs> is it, oh, is it at the end of the path? Yeah. Okay, sometimes they do that. They trick you by putting it at the end of the path. Who would ever think to look at the end of a path? They would think to look in the middle of nowhere, which is like no road. But now that we found it with our drone, we can go ahead and drive to it. Oh my gosh, guys, we're driving to it. Oh my gosh. Basically what I just did. Ah, two wheels, two wheels, flip it. Ah, dang it. Oh, with the wheelie, though. The wheelie return. That's pretty insane. Oh. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm wrecking the brand new Porsche. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Porsche. Like Goobity doo ba, uh, off roading in the brand new push. Hey, that's catchy. Goobity doo ba, off roading in the brand new push. Huh? I'm putting that um in uh in in the intro. Well, uh, uh, at destination. You have arrived at your destination. All right, let's see what is inside. So. Yeah. Let's see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> it's a reliant regal. This is a classic piece of British motoring history. You keep digging up classics at this rate, and this time next year, you'll be a millionaire. Oh my gosh. It's a three wheeler. But in joke, the reliant super van. What is it? A Royal Iron Regal? Oh my shit. Cute little guy fixed up. Should still be a hoot to drive when it's finished. Turn around. It was it was supposed to be a British joke, but it actually is a car. And either way, it's hilarious as anything. Seriously. But let's not spin out. Ugh. Let's spin out. Let's just drive backwards. It's faster than turning around. Well, no, it's not, but it's definitely easier. This thing can go 58 miles an hour off uh, back roads. You might be saying, no, it can't. It's off road. That's all. It can go faster. But you also got to think that was downhill. In 200 yards, you will arrive at your destination. So, yeah. So, let's see. What's at this but Is that a Hennessy? It's a Hennessy Vano. You have arrived at your destination. What could we be doing in the Hennessy Venom? Wait a minute. Hennessy Venom plus one. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I mean, think about it. Hennessy Venom and a runway. What else could you do with it? Here we go. Beat the speed target. Let's go. Ah, the launch is insane. Oh, but you do have to do some upgrades to these fast cars. Like... The Koenigsegg. Good luck with that one. The Hennessy Venom. A few upgrades and it will be as, as smooth as this. And a few other cars are crazy, which can make better. Apparently the Ultima GTR, you need a few upgrades too, but... Eh. Just 
just barely hit 250. I didn't even see 250 on my speedometer the last time I saw 249. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next episode. So, yeah. Bye.